War Robots in 2020. So a video with titled War Robots 2020 What's Next was posted on official channel for 3000 views right now and posted one day ago. It's actually two days I'm late to record this. So here Mickey Mouse and if you think I'm referring him to a kid's character to make fun of him. So no 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 I have a concrete proof. Listen to this. Max, Max, you huh? No. Oh dear. Okay so I will play it once more so you understand which part I'm talking about. Okay, it doesn't match us that much, but who cares? So Mickey here starts telling about what changes they made to War Robots in 2019, starting from May somehow. 2019 was quite a year for War Robots. We kicked things off with pilots in May. They helped us to establish war, factions, and characters. July update brought us operations, basically more items to everyone. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right there. Uh, it's very boring to listen to this. So, you know, I will, I will give you a summary of 2019 in a, like a different way. So the next clip you, you are about to see, please consider Beast Boy as Big Sonic and Cyborg as War Robots players. So here is how the 2019 was for War Robots. <laughs> So that my friend was a summary of War Robots 2019 and if you think it was too complicated or like too messy to understand, well then yes, exactly, that's how the 2019 was for War Robots. So next he talks about special edition robots and weapons. What's next? New robots and weapons. Let's address special editions first. They got quite popular and it's great news. It's fun to play around with different outwardly concepts and see what else classic robots and weapons can become. We will keep exploring those possibilities with new, special and limited editions. Then, in 2019, we came up with a new role system based on the extensive data, showing how robots are usually played. After analyzing that data, we split robots in five roles. That approach was a success. Each robot has now found its place on the battlefield. Okay, that actually is very true. I can't disagree on that. Like, yeah, that's true that every robot has found its place. Like Leech and Phantom in top tier and rest of the robots you can think of. Ares, Destier, Cossack or even uh, Spectre or uh, Hades, Nemesis. All of them have found their place in the trash. <laughs> Moving on, so after that my brother here talks about adding new map which I'm really happy about. Like it's actually one of the very first positive thing out of this video. Next year we plan to release two new maps. You probably saw Factory on the test server. Here's how it will look when it is finished. Oh my god, the butch got butched. I'm sorry, is that a word? I'm sorry, I don't know the past participle of butch so let me google it. Past participle, oh it's butchered, okay so. <laughs> <laughs> Butch got butchered. Expected somewhere during the spring. There are many things that were taken for granted five years ago, but don't make much sense now. For example, why iOS and Android players can't play together? That's what we are going to address first. Merging the servers in two steps. First, you will be able to meet people from other platforms in combat. This should result in better and faster matchmaking. Okay, another positive thing. I'm totally happy with this one merging both the Android and iOS server. That's actually better since like the player pool is so small. So, now what? Bro, What are you doing? Exactly what? Like it makes no sense. You allow Android and iOS players to play together in Q1, Q2 which is from January to June but you can't allow them to squad together or like be in the same clan till Q4 of 2020 which is October, November or December. Uh, quarter if you don't know what Q1, Q2 is it's basically quarters uh, so like one-fourth of a uh, year so Q1 includes January, February, March 
Q2 includes uh, April, May, June and just like that. So yeah, it makes no sense to me and I, actually I have a theory why they are doing this. Uh, <laughs> but it will be too much. It's actually one of the positive point I'm getting to talk about. So yeah, I will not say that here. Maybe I will say that in a discord and, or somewhere and then after six months or whenever it will be will actually be there uh, implemented i will show it like oh look i'm a prophet i knew this this is why they're this, this is why they did this so yeah silver payout algorithm also leaves many questions so the new system will be fully built on honor which we have reworked with a great success each honor point will bring you a set amount of silver this way first the silver payout will be more clear and second, you will get silver for all the actions that push your team towards the victory, not just damage. We see this as a more fair way to reward players for their skill and tactical thinking. Okay, I'm skeptical about this one, but I'm not going to say anything. Just like even during the Titans, I didn't say anything because we didn't have much information. And for this one too, like he didn't said that we will be getting more silver, which is the problem. He just said it will be a more fair way. And judging from past, uh, yeah, I, I'm very skeptical about this one. But rewards are also set for the overhaul later in the year to give you better, more intuitive chest progression. Okay, again the same thing, so they just said improved, which I'm very skeptical about, like, yeah, like <laughs> judging from the past, their definition of improvement is a, is a lot different than players' perspective, so yeah, I I don't think it might be well we will see they are just they're just saying they will improve it so let's see how they improve it the feedback system will let you report bad sportsmanship cheats and any other kind of abuse by sending us a note in just a few taps okay this is another positive thing like before if you if you tell about uh, in the customer support that hey i found a hacker or a tanker they will say oh did you take a did you capture the video proof or did you capture the screenshot proof like bro like, track them yourself so i think with this one they will improve it like you can report player while playing like if someone killed you like there is uh, in pubg you know like if someone kills you you can immediately report the player you know, so I think it will be something like this. So again, a positive change. Yay, happy, claps, thank you. All right, let's cut it here. There is so much more we want to talk about, but we'll get to that later. Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, and happy new year, commanders. Okay, you may think the video ends here, but now comes the very important part of the video. Here, our friend Mickey will tell us how they ignore all the top comments from YouTube and also in Facebook. But yeah, this example will be only of YouTube top comments. So now with that, I think that's finally the end of the video. So a disclaimer now at the end, yeah, at the end, not in the beginning. I thought if I add it in the beginning, it will spoil the mood. Um, so yeah, don't hate on the person on this video or in any video on the official channel because you see they are just like doing their job. Uh, like he's the producer, but <laughs> still you don't have to hate anyone on personal level. Like all they are doing are doing as a group effort as a company. So yeah, hating anyone. I see a lot of comments hating on Stan or Tofsla or even this. Uh, he's the producer of the company or the game or like uh, both are the same, right? So whatever, all I, all I have to say is don't hate anyone on personal level, even if they are them or anyone um based on what they do in uh in their job like so yeah i think i just extended it too much so <laughs> i hope you understand what i'm trying to say here so yeah that's it and happy new year happy holidays to everyone and i really hope you're enjoying your holidays please make sure you do because after this you have to get back to the same work routine i mean i can't say everyone but yeah most of the people will have to get back to their routine in working days so yeah <laughs> with that i think that's it for this video so i guess i will see you in my next video